Withered rose from one of the dead golems, keeping that. The shrine was completely destroyed. Only one flag survived. Two wither roses from the last cows I had. I checked up on the villagers to see how many were left. I built a staircase for any of them to go up and down in the building. And once I reached them, I'd say half lift, but that's what I came here for. Their journey was fun. I came here to gather supplies and money, and I'd say I did that. I made some awesome memories, and I think I'm completely ready for the next adventure on Complex Gaming. I gathered up all my important items. I took one last look at my base, and I can say I actually left this place happy. I'm sad to see everything that was lost in the end, but everything came together for me to reach this certain point, and I wouldn't change anything. The pillagers will always be there, coming for me, and this was a great reminder to not let my guard down. Huh, that seems really cool. Wish I could do something like that. Wait, I can. So Skies is a series where he survives 100 days in hardcore, makes a video in each 100 days. I'm not very good at dying, at not dying I should say, so I figured I should do every 10 days. Now before the video officially begins, I want to mention that the majority of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed, so if you like this sort of thing, go ahead and subscribe. Anyway, on to the content you came here for. Now this is the second world I did. The first, I didn't even survive a day and died to a skeleton. God, not even one day? Oh, I'm so angry. Anyway, let's get started on day zero. So I started off at a flower forest right by a swamp, which was kind of stinky, so I started collecting items. I got a bed and died in magenta, because there was no purple nearby, which made me very upset because I like purple a lot. I decided to keep moving till eventually I cooked my food and slept near an ocean, ending day zero in a birch forest. Day one, I kept exploring, eventually finding a dark oak forest, a lonely dolphin, and a turtle. I did find a plains biome, but it was small and it didn't think it had enough food, so I kept moving. Traveling continued on the day two, where I went across an ocean and found a big plains biome with a big village. There was a ruined portal there too. Then I found a cat, realized I wanted her as a pet, and went around stealing, <coughs> borrowing for an extended time their wheat and salmon for the cat. Then I made this amazing oak house. I know, I'm jealous too. Day three, I did the best thing ever. Terraformed. Best part of my day. Day four was very similar. Day five, I went mining and found some iron. Day six, I made a strip mine. Day seven, I started a wall. I started my wall. I did some research on hardcore mode, and apparently, if you build a wall, you're practically immortal. And in this world, I am immortal un until proven otherwise. Just like in real life, you cannot convince me otherwise. Day eight, I continued continued mining and found a ravine. Nothing really big there, ex except for the ravine, of course. Then I got trapped in my house and couldn't sleep. Very apocalypse-esque and very spooky. Day 9, I finished my wall. Oh, and because I forgot, I got the cat on day 2, and I named her Poppy. It, if she dies, the series is over. Day 10, I continued farming and went down into the mine again. Oh, and also on day 9, I started a wheat farm. But, uh, day 10, I continued to farm and went down into the mine again. I explored the ravine a little bit more and there was nothing interesting. Then I realized it was eventually gonna turn to night and that I officially survived 10 days. I wanted to celebrate with Poppy, so I took her outside onto the roof as we watched the sunset together. Very nice. So that was 10 days in hardcore. Alright, the other two episodes recorded, so hopefully those episodes will be out soon. I am actually really enjoying this, and I want to see if there's a way for me to save the world in just normal survival as well. Just basically recreate it in survival, so like, if I do die, then I can still continue playing in the world, because it is a lot of fun. I know there's like... Um, recreating the world, but that just recreates the seed and none of the actual buildings. Trust me, I did it in one of my other worlds and had to rebuild everything, which is annoying, but it was worth it, because it's one of my favorite worlds now. Whatever. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Did you please stop the like button and subscribe for more videos like this one. I don't just do gaming, I also do art. Uh, with that out of the way, uh, peace out, have a great day. Bye-bye! Also, thank you for Skies for making an amazing 100 days series and honestly some of the best parts of my day. <laughs>